Hey guys, it's Lee here from Cool Amplification in the UK and today I'm going to make my Blue Sky Amp sound like John Mayer. So if you're a fan of John Mayer, you'll probably know a little bit about his rig and that he predominantly uses Dumbbell Amps or Dumbbell Style Amps. Now he's used Two Rock in the past, he's used Fender Amps and he's also used his current signature PRS Amp. So these are all voiced to suit his single coil style playing. It's very Dumbbell like, very sort of, uh, you know, mid mid-scooped, bass heavy, and very, very clean. He never has any natural drive on his amps, they're always clean as far as they go. So while the Blue Sky is not a clone of a Dumble, we can get incredibly close to that style of sound. So this amp that I'm playing through is the 35 Watt Blue Sky, the 1x12 combo, and this thing has just tons of headroom. I've got the gain dialed probably about three quarters of the way up, not that you'd know because it's so clean. The master volume is currently only at a quarter of the way up, so we're playing at a, a reasonable volume, just a typical room volume. I'm not, I'm not at gig volume, but I do gig with this amp regularly, and it can really, you know, it doesn't distort even when you crank it up. So on the floor in front of me, I've got my pedal board. Just to enhance that kind of Maya vibe, I've got a Clon clone that I built, which I just use just to boost the volume a touch. No gain, just a little bit of a clean boost. And I've got a reverb, I'm using the TC Electronics Hall of Fame. I've also got a Tube Screamer pedal, which I'll be using as well. I'm using the Homebrew Electronics Power Screamer, which is like an 808 kind of vibe, but any Tube Screamer pedal will see you that, you know, see you through in the right way. <laughs> playing this 1983 Tokai Strat copy. I'm currently using it in the fourth position which is the neck and the middle position which is the one that Mayer uses all the time. I've got the tone all the way up and the volume all the way up on the guitar as well. Mayer often does play in this fourth position as it gives the clean parts a real bell-like chime and it adds some nice throatiness to the lead parts. <laughs> Sometimes you might also see him playing in the second position, which is the bridge pickup and the middle pickup on together. This will give you the same sort of bell-like tone, but there'll be an additional edge of brightness from the bridge pickup being involved. So let's look at the settings we've used to get this sound. The master volume is on a quarter of the way up. Now with our built-in seamless volume control, this doesn't matter because whatever you set it to, it will sound the same. The presence is on about half. Now Maya has a very bass heavy sound. So I've scooped the treble and the mids. I've turned those down to maybe 10 o'clock. So that would be three or four on your regular sort of dial. Quite low, but the Strat adds the brightness. So obviously you're playing with single call pickups that will add a lot of top end anyway. The bass is turned up to probably two o'clock, so there's a lot more low end in this, which compensates for the single coils. He plays a lot with his fingers, so again, you get an extra warmth from that too. And the gain is set to maybe again two o'clock. It's not quite three quarters of the way up, but this amp doesn't really do overdrive. So even if you turn the gain all the way up, you're only gonna get just on the cusp of breakup. Now, as I said on the floor as well, I've got a Clon clone, now this is just one I built myself from a kit, but any clone clone will do the same job. I've got the gain on zero, the master volume on the clone about two o'clock, and the treble, uh, I have it set to about one o'clock, but I change this all the time depending on where I'm playing, just so I can achieve that right level of cut. I've also got the TC Electronics Hall of Fame with, I believe it's just the standard hall reverb, that's set to just over a quarter of the way up, and I've also got my Homebrew Power Screamer, which is my overdrive, it's my 808 style tube screamer. I've got the gain on about 10 o'clock, the tone I keep to about 12 or 1 o'clock, and the volume I just turn up and down to suit, again, whatever volume the amp's at. So I've turned that down because the amp is lower right now. This amp has so much headroom that 
you know, whatever you put in front of it, there's always more volume to go. So you never have to worry about your clean headroom being compromised. So this is perfect if you want to get that Maya vibe. Any artist that uses that really clean dumbbell sort of sound, this amp will see you exactly in the right ballpark. Mm -hmm.